Hey everyone, this is a trader investor. In this video, I'm going to continue the discussion on spy trading in relation to supply zone, demand zone, liquidity, manipulation. All of that is into the picture in uh, today's conversation. And why it's really important to have this conversation is for us to be really patient as we wait for our entries and exits. And what I'm trying to do in this last video is really not focus on very small time frames like five minutes time frame where there are plenty of scalping opportunities uh, 15 minutes again some end of day uh, trading opportunities looking at 15 minutes uh, range trading that I've talked about many many times I still like th these trades but uh, as uh, the market is extended uh, we want to have some very very solid uh, entry opportunities for swing position instead of uh, looking for scalping position so that's why i want to focus on the hourly chart here and as we focus on the hourly chart the last uh, few videos i did mention that i'm looking for price to come down to this imbalance or to this demand zone and where are we today we're right at that uh, imbalance area and there's a good confluence with the uh, trend line when we look at the daily when we look at the daily we have a trend line and price is near that trend line of course it has broken below that trend line but uh, on a daily basis the way we confirm that this trend line is broken is when price closes this and it retests that trend line and fails to close back inside this trend line. As you can see a, a few uh, days ago, price did go below the trend line. It did not even close that. It started below it and reversed. And uh, in the last two days, we're below it, but we're playing on both sides of this trend line on the upper side the lower side because we closed below on friday but then we opened above it today and still heading uh lower so this is important to understand this concept very very key and then coming back to our early chart then for me a good entry that i'm looking for is for price preferably to come to the 442 443 area if not to the mid of this uh, imbalance which is somewhere around the 444.50 area this I'm, I'm patiently waiting and now as we look at this hourly chart as price gives us a, a solid area of value then we can come down to the 15 minutes chart not for scalping but for break of structure what do I mean by break of structure once price drives down somewhere in this zone and then makes a lower or oh, higher low a higher low right here once price is able to do this and then we have some high that we form here and the next high that we form higher high this is what we are looking for Right, so when we have this break of structure, then we can feel comfortable to enter when we break this high because anything above it is our, our, our higher high. This is what I'm looking for, this breaking this uh, structure. So, uh, so the 50 minutes would be good for that kind of analysis. But before we can get there, we must let the one hour chart tell us Hey, we're at an area of value I could potentially enter. And there are two ways to play this with options. You can go long or you can go short. Short meaning I sell cash covered puts and all the premium that I have collected as price drives up, I'm going to get to keep all that premium. So I use somebody else's money to make me money. So I collect their money and I uh, keep that money. Now, if price for some reason decides to go down i'm okay with that because i'm okay buying spy at the 444.50 area i'm okay to buy that 
and put as my long-term hold. It won't be a trade. My trades would be mainly focused on options. And then when it comes to the actual ETF stock, then I would hold that for long term. So that's how I'll be looking at it. But for now, I've been saying the last few videos, be patient and wait. Don't wait for small pullback, right? Small pullback and there's no break of structure here because price lower high, lower low, equal high, lower low. So there's no break of structure for you to even consider entering at this level. Now, if we look at the 15 minutes at this level, we might have seen a break of structure, low, high, higher low, and enter at the break of this high, or when it retested it in this zone, and enter here, for a couple of dollars move right so you can uh, uh, take a look at those if you're looking at scalping but like i said i'm not looking at uh, scalping and i want my hourly chart to tell me uh, when to get in when to get out so two dollars and 31 cents move that's a pretty pretty decent move on a delta 50 option so nothing wrong if you have uh, taken uh, that position uh, but uh, because i said do not trade on a light pullback, on a shallow pullback. You want the deep pullback. And what do I mean by the deep pullback? When you do a Fibonacci retracement until you get that pullback, this pullback was at the 23.6% retracement. I want a deeper pullback. Deeper pullback, where does that come? 50%, 61.8% retracement. And what, where does that align? beautifully with this imbalance that I said, hey, if price comes here, if price comes here, we have confluence, confluence with Fibonacci retracement, confluence with demand zone, with imbalance, confluence with the trend line, even though we're a little bit away from that trend line, remember, a, a support resistance trend line is a zone, not a point in time. So it's a zone. So I'm okay to look at this whole area here this whole area i'm okay to look at it as a confluence so as soon as price decides it is done reaching these levels this is where i'll be entering uh, a good solid position and again if you want to collect bigger premium and do twice as much uh, position size you can go with upro right because you, you can even do three almost three contracts right uh 360 dollars uh is three contracts ver versus uh 444 dollars of spy so you can either do three contracts of upro one contract of spy or even one contract of upro represents one contract of spy because it moves three times faster so you don't even need to do three but i'm just giving you different uh, alternatives to look at as you're looking at entering new positions and and you pro will give you a much uh, bigger uh, premium to collect but i just don't like the spread the spreads are usually more than a dollar between bid and ask a dollar fifty or so i don't like that kind of spread so i'd much rather just do uh spy or if you want to do uh tech you can just do tq tq has less than a dollar spread sometimes 50 cent spread so I like that much, much better. Uh, again, this is not a recommendation, but just a way to look at different possibilities, different options for your options play. Uh, no puns intended there. But overall, I look at the spies and the spies are giving me the area of value that I'm waiting for. I have this uh, alert here. As soon as that alert triggers, I'm getting ready to set up what my potential entry is. And so this is this is really a beautiful area and in the morning you know we can come clear this and reverse so that's what i'm looking for all right everyone i know this has uh, been a video that i've talked about multiple times about the same thing over and over because i want to make sure that you're getting the idea right no manipulation for example we talked about 
liquidity when price fakes you out to the downside are you stopped out or were you wide enough and you were able to sustain uh, it faked you out to the long side he said oh this liquidity this uh, double bottom not triple uh, bottom i take it long but that long did not live long it, it really lasted uh, less than an hour because price started to reverse back and go down so make sure you are uh, taking care of liquidity also all right everyone take care for now and i'll see you in the next video